Hello, let us continue solving word problems in algebra. All of these problems that we discuss are covering single variables right now. Now let us look at the problem. What should be added to twice the rational number minus 7 by 3 to get 3 by 7? Now if you look at it, this problem involves rational numbers. So the usual method that we follow is a three-step process. What we do is the first thing, find out what is the unknown. The second one is form an algebraic equation uh, using the statement or the information given within the problem and solve the algebraic equation to get the value of the unknown. Now let us first look at the first step which says what is the what, what is unknown over here? What should be added to twice the national number? What should? So that it, it points to some number. So let's say that the number that we have to add to twice the rational number 7 by 3 is x. So let the number be x. Now let us, this is the first step, we determined the unknown and we call it as x. Now let us try to form the algebraic equation. So it says that what should be added to twice the rational number minus 7 by 3 to get 3 by 7, which means you take this x, add it to twice the rational number and we should get 3 by 7. So the equation would be the number x plus we need to add it to twice the rational number minus 7 by 3 and this should equal to 3 by 7. So this is our algebraic equation. However, before we proceed to solve it, we should try to simplify this. So we say x. Now if you look at this, is there is a negative sign here. So when 2 multiplied by minus 7, it becomes minus 14 by 3. And this plus and minus combination, it, it, it gives you minus negative. So I'll say x minus 14 by 3 equals 3 by 7. Now this is our algebraic equation. So if we solve for x, we will get what we need to add to twice of 7 by 3 to get 3 by 7. So x minus 14 by 3 equals 3 by 7. Now let us solve this problem. So we would say uh, using our method what we do is we isolate x which is on the left hand side by transposing minus 14 by 3 on to the right hand side. So we have 3 by 7 when transposing the signature uh, the sign changes not the signature but the sign. So we just say it is plus 14 by 3. Now how do we add these two? Now if you recollect we have discussed adding these type of numbers in fractions. What we have to do is just to make the denominator common so that we can add the numerator straight away. And one way is to simply multiply both of these numbers such that we have a common denominator. And in this case what we will do is we will multiply the first part that is this 3 by 7, 3 by 7 into 3 by 3, okay? So, uh, and the second part, that is 14 by 3, we multiply this by 7 by 7. Oops, sorry about that. Oh, uh, okay, so now let's proceed further to solve this. And... So what do we have here? When we simplify this, we get x equals 3 times 3 is 9, 9 by 21 plus 14 times 7 gives you 98 by 21. So we have this uh, and when we solve this, 9 plus 98 is 107 by 21. And this is therefore the answer, 107. 7 by 21. So we should add 107 by 21 to twice of minus 7 by 3 to get 3 by 7. And if you like to check, uh, you can just substitute x equals 100 by 7 in this. And when you substitute in this equation, or, or, or to even keep it more simple, if we substitute in this equation over here, x minus 14 by 3 equals 3 by 7. So when you try to solve the left hand side using this value of x we should get 3 by 7. 
So this was a word problem in algebra that involved rational numbers. In the next video, we will see another problem that involves another concept of mathematics.